Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. Today is Wednesday, July 19th, and it is my friend Emerson's birthday today. Happy birthday, Emerson. And you had an amazing around the world kendama, I heard. A celebration day of 100 daily vlogs in a row. So in order to celebrate that, thumbs up the video. I got people cheering for me back there. 100 vlogs was not easy to do. It took a lot of late nights early mornings, tired eyes, and creativity. Some of them are better than others, I know, but I'm just trying to make the habit and document my life for myself, for family, and for everyone else out there to watch if they please. We can celebrate by listing some items on eBay. I got a couple shirts that either I've worn myself to work, like I've worn this one to work, I've worn this one to work, that I had picked up. Well, I had gotten this, so I think to put on Etsy is like a vintage polo made in the USA. I'm just gonna throw it up on eBay. It's a Burberry. We're gonna do flat lays with carpet. The lighting through this window is really good at my brother's house and take some pictures get some items up so this shirt right here the comps are looking at 38 bucks I'll probably put it up for like 39 or best offer free ship that's the only comp I can find right there that's the same exact shirt it's a uh, color block Tommy button front and it's just got different type of like patch and so I wouldn't say patchwork but it's got like different blocks of color on it the back is blue the pocket so it's it's cool this is very like 90s 90s or 2000s Tommy it's cool this is a Southern Tide with the skipjack down there. I actually wore this to work a bunch of times and I don't think I washed it enough and there's like some yellowing on the collar right there. I'm only putting this up for 10 bucks. We're in liquidation mode, it's gonna be gone. This was another shirt I wore to work. This is a Burberry long sleeve button front size medium. I'm blowing it out at like 12 bucks. It's got a stain in the front. I probably spilled some coffee or some food on it one day. I don't know. It was a good shirt while it lasted. Let's get rid of it. This is a really outrageous vintage Polo Ralph Lauren, made in the USA. I bought this with intention to list it on Etsy, never got around to it, so I'm just throwing it up on eBay. 25 bucks or best offer. This is a Porsche Polo. Comps aren't that strong on it. Someone has another size listed at like 30 something, hasn't been selling after 60 days, but they're the only one up. I'm gonna list this for 30 or best offer. This is a size XL. Usually um, rich car guys are a little bit bigger, so hopefully someone will pick it up. So I originally bought this Zegna, made in Italy, size small to wear to work. I don't try on clothes at the thrift. I don't really try on clothes at the thrift, and that's a mistake that I make, and it didn't fit me well. It's like really swoopy here. I think this was too short. Long, lanky arms. eBay, the market's not great, 10 bucks. Let's get rid of it. It's about 1.30. Cat's making me a break lunch. What is this called? Pachapa. Pachapa? Tachapa or pachapa? Kachapa. I think it's like a corn pancake, she said, with cheese and some over easy. Wow, those are actually really good over easy eggs. Over easy eggs are not easy to make, and those are some good over easy egg. Orange juice. This is a pink Thomas Pink, size medium. It's actually got a really interesting, whatever this is, button lay. It does say pink on the inside of the color there, pink on the color. Cool little details. I put it up for 25. It is my size, it's a medium. I can't remember if I wore this to work or not. I might have bought it as a work shirt. I have too many clothes. I have too much work shirts. Let's get rid of it. Oh, I have your checkbook. We've got eight clothing items listed, which is almost my goal for today. I'll probably get two more listed by the end of the day. We're gonna do a family errand run. Um, Marty and Kat. Okay, so they're, I don't know how any of this works. They're getting the marriage license. She already feels like my married sister. <laughs> Yes. But now it's, I guess, going to be state official. Then we're going to go to Walmart because there is a bubble wrap bolo that's been posted in the green room for some amazing bubble wrap deals. Build me a chair. Chair confirmation. Um, chair confirmation. According to this quiz that I got 50 on, you don't want me to build your chair because you probably fall over. I think it's complete. If not, use it and sell it. I need to get a box for this luggage that I have to ship today. That's a priority. All right, let's see that ring. Martin, where'd you get the ring from? Uh, Value Pond. Pawn shop, ring shop. It was 450 bucks. They had it valued at 750. Offered him 450. Cash money. Uh, credit card, debit, <laughs> debit card money. Debit card money. Dude at the pawn shop probably got it for like 100 or 200. Dude who originally bought it probably bought it for like two grand or something. That's my guess. I don't know anything about ring shopping. It's cool. It's pretty. It's recycled. It's a good deal. 10 karat white gold and it's a 1.5 karat total on diamonds. Diamond specs. Pawn shop, ring shop. So I think this is a very economical way to get engaged is uh, the pawn shop, ring shop. When I got engaged with Rachel, I did not have a ring. 
which is kind of embarrassing, but I did not want to have the wrong ring. So I think nothing's better than wrong, but it's very cool that she does wear a ring I gave her earlier on in our dating years that only cost me a quarter because it was a pre-1964 silver quarter that my grandfather gave me that I pounded out and turned into a coin ring and then I gave it to Rachel. So she wears that now, sort of as an engagement ring, and it only cost me a quarter. My grandpa would, was laughing. Oh, the best thing about it is it only costs a quarter. So <laughs> I think that was really funny. And it has a lot of meaning to it. And it's not even a perfect circle. It's kind of like a lopsided handicraft, but I could say that I forged her a ring. We have one. Should I do the cha-ching noise? So they're at Circuit of the Clerk somewhere in Florida, and this is where you turn in the paperwork to get your marriage license. How much is it? 86 bucks. 86 dollars. I need to know this when I get married, when I get my marriage when I get my marriage license if I can speak. Marriage. Now serving Z. There you go. I'd like to return these two items. Oh, this is a good deal. 30 dollars, 12 dollars for pictures Monday through Friday marriages. Oh, and then here's the English one. That's a good deal. Thirty dollars for marriage, and twelve dollars for two pictures. Steve Rakin, come down to your clerk office. Get this U.S. passport application. Fill it out, and please get your passport so we can go on a bro trip one day. Get your passport, dude. Get your passport. Everybody out there needs to get their passport. If you don't have your passport. All right, so they actually have this thing set up at the clerk. We're gonna get a silly kiss. They ain't technically married yet, but. Oh, I didn't get the leg pop. Do it one more time. Ta da <laughs> What's it called? The belly. Oh, the belly kiss? Call it like a basketball belly kiss? So, it's not married yet, yeah, but it's, it's like they got the license. And they can come back within three days and cancel it if they get in a fight. This is a pretty cool painting. It's like really, really thick acrylics. We are at Walmart. I'm getting two boxes to hopefully ship my carry-on. And we got green room bolo. This is pretty sick. Five bucks for a flag made in the USA. How are you gonna have a USA flag not made in the USA? How tall can we get this? I can carry three. You're just gonna walk around Walmart like that? Seven dollars. Can't believe it. Now someone posted a Facebook post and just keeps getting bumped when people buy it. So if you're in the green room, you're like guaranteed to see it. If you're just active in that Facebook group, I'm sharing it with everyone else because there's not that many people watching my channel anyways. So if you saw this, go to Walmart, get an amazing deal on bubble wrap, it's still out there. <laughs> it's like covering you up completely. That was so dangerous, I picked up the camera with my bubble wrap hands. Really thought it was gonna fall. That's odd. Your shirt says the green room, but that shirt is purple. So funny, we're walking, mind our, minding our own bubble wrap business, and Homeboy says, that's odd, that shirt says the green room, but the shirt's purple. Bubble wrap, seven bucks. We can put one seat. So much bubble wrap. Uh, gonna be going back to the house. I'm gonna be on a green room hangout with Rally Roots, Ryan Roots from the Rally Roots YouTube channel. They have a really, really good Eric's YouTube channel. All right, so this is how I'm shipping. Oh, it doesn't fit. Crap. This guy's gonna be so pissed. He's gonna get his items so late. Maybe I can get it in here. There we go. I get it in, kind of like at a jacked up angle, but it's in there. This is called towering boxes. You get two boxes to make a big box. Not my favorite method of shipping, but you have to do it when you're in a pinch, when you don't have the right materials with you, just to get the items out pretty fast. Pretty simple. Let me know if you used this trick before. So this is like the best green room setup ever. Mirror with a bunch of lights, my webcam, computer, and the lights are on remote control. That is so cool. A little bit of Martin's eBay stuff in the background. Ryan Roots from Rally Roots. They've got a fabulous YouTube channel, only 68 videos with 11,000 subs. That's a great video to subscriber count. And I like that they're very, very clean cut. They have great vlogs, great information, great energy, all around really, really, really well made YouTube channel. They're doing it right, honestly. They travel too, they went to Iceland. I've been just like binge watching a lot of their stuff. Really, really, really good YouTube channel. I discovered them, I think about two weeks ago. I have not been in the reseller YouTube space. I actually just found their Instagram today, so I followed them on Instagram. They do live in Florida, so I would love to meet up with them later on in the future, possibly foreshadowing for another video, but I'm getting ready for the hangout. So we're interviewing Ryan Reach right now. Totally good show. I'm gonna put a link to it right there, and it's gonna be a link in the description to the show. Make sure you check out this show. Really awesome interview with Ryan from Rally Roots YouTube channel. They are absolutely crushing it. Husband-wife team lives like 
super close to my brother's apartment in Florida. I'm definitely going to link up with him in the future. Uh, I want to go mountain biking with him, honestly. He says he's trying to get into mountain biking. That'll be fun. But I'm going to end the vlog here. If you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. Check out Rally Roots YouTube channel. Look at that. He's got the, the vloggy right there. And if you have any encouraging comments, I'd love to hear them. And I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Bye.